British boxer Tommy Farr is in training for his world title fight with Joe Louis. And all America is watching the Welsh boy who is shot to the top with a swish of a rocket. August 1937, and the Tonopandi Terror prepares for the fight of his life. Tommy Farr was at the height of his powers and had travelled to New York to face the brown bomber Joe Harry. Louis. Despite taking his opponent the full 15 rounds, Farr narrowly lost on a points decision, but that one match secured his fame and fortune. Tommy Farr was born in 1913 in Cudachvale in Tonopandi. He grew up in abject poverty and turned to the boxing ring to make ends meet. As a teenager, he fought on the local circuit and on one of those bouts came face to face with Phil Norton's father. They fought uh, in the Imperial Hotel in, uh, in Porth. My father was about three years older than Tommy. The fight went five rounds. Uh, the referee stopped it when Tommy, when Tommy broke my father's nose, uh, probably causing a lot of blood to flow. At the age of 18, Farr moved to London. By the time he faced Joe Louis, he was already the British and Empire heavyweight champion, and he retired in 1940 a rich man. But ten years later, saddled with massive debts, he was forced to make a comeback, and his powers were clearly on the wane. Proves the old maxim that they never come back. But he remains a boxing hero, rising from his humble roots in the Ronda to become a sporting superstar.